We're getting some troubling new details about the life of a murdered Bullhead City girl. Isabella Grogan Canella's body was found less than a mile from her home. Her accused killer is now behind bars, but the Department of Child Safety says the child's mother was also investigated for neglect. ABC 15's Navita Fergani is joining us now with a look at the history that this girl and her mother had with DCS. Well, Steve and Stephanie, I can tell you that the Department of Child Safety was called out five times since 2008. The most recent was back in 2013 during a neglect investigation because of some of the poor conditions inside Isabella Grogan Canella's home. Those conditions seem very unchanged a year later when we were interviewing Isabella Grogan's mother days after her death. It was extremely hard for us to move around that house because of all the garbage. There was even trash on Isabella's bed. Now in 2012 there were several allegations of physical abuse that caseworkers could not prove and finally in 2008 social workers were called out to investigate after someone called a Accusing Tanya Grogan, Isabella's mother, of selling meth in front of the child. Caseworkers also stated Isabella was cared for by Tanya's, quote, drug friends. During my interview back in September, uh, Tanya denied ever selling drugs. You do what you do to provide for your family. Yeah, maybe I wasn't the most legit way of making money. There are no drug debts. I owe nothing. And no, I'm not a drug dealer. But weeks after that ABC 15 interview, Tanya and her husband were both charged with selling meth. Isabella's stepfather just pled guilty to those charges. And according to police, that tip for selling meth came from the suspect in Isabella's murder, Justin Rector. Rector told police that Tanya gave him meth, then left her children with Rector to go to Walmart. That night, Isabella disappeared, and despite everything that's in these documents right here, the Mojave County Attorney's Office has declined to charge Tanya Grogan with child neglect. Such a sad, devastating story when you think about that little girl. Thanks so much, Navita, for that story.